in this uh, video i will be discussing about this problem which says that in a series circuit where the resistance value is given as 6 ohm and the inductive reactance is given as 8 ohm and a potential difference of 141.4 rms voltage is applied then at a certain instant of applied voltage means after some time the voltage value is 100 volts and it is increasing after that so 100 volt means it is in the positive cycle so calculate this current at uh, total current at this point then the voltage drop across the resistance and the voltage drop across the inductive reactance that we have to find it out okay now let us see how to solve this so what given in the question so question our resistance is given as 6 ohm and your re, uh, your re inductive reactance is given that means xl is given as 8 ohm so previously in previous problem only inductance value was given and we are finding out the xl in this case the xl is given so what do we have we have z is equals to 6 plus j8 okay so that i can write in polar form as well so how to write that so in polar form it will be 6 and 8 if i put so that is equals to 10 with angle of 53.13 okay so with angle of 53.13 that means your voltage is leading the current voltage is leading means what because 53.13 is there and an inductor is there okay let's go there so next the vrms is given as 141.4 141.4 vrms is given so vm or the max voltage will be 141.4 into root 2 so 141.4 into root 2 so this value is equals to 199.96 so i can take this as 200 for easy calculations so 200 volts okay now what is my voltage instantaneous voltage v equals to vm sin omega t i'll take voltage as the reference so then vm is vm sin omega t minus 0 degree so that can be written as 200 volts at angle of 0 degree or else you can write this as 200 sin of omega t that is it right. So, next is asking what is the current at this time means what is the instantaneous value of current. So, that is equals to V divided by Z. So, that is equals to how much 200 at angle 0 degree divided by Z is what 10. So, here it is Z z at angle 53.13 so that is equals to 20 at angle minus 53.13 degrees okay so we can say here the current is lagging how by how much amount by 53.13 degrees because it's the inductor obviously voltage is leading and the current is lagging here so next uh, it is the current next the find when the voltage value is 100 volt okay so that means when the instantaneous voltage value is equals to 100 volt and 100 volts because of what we know the equation is 200 so here 200 sine of omega t is equals to 100 so from here we can get your sine of omega t is equals to 0 0.5 so that implies your omega t will be equals to how much 30 degree so i know 0 0.5 value of 30 degree so I can calculate here also sin inverse of 0 0.5 so that comes as your 30 degree omega c is 30 degree ok. So this much information for the time being I need ok. Now it is uh, asking that what is the current at this position what is the current value now so I will be equals to current equation is what here it is 20 degree with phase difference of minus 50 degree so i equals to 20 of sin omega t minus 53 degree 53.13 is my equation now when the voltage is 100 how much the omega t value is it is 30 degree so that implies at 100 voltage means when the voltage value is 100 what will be the current current will be equals to 20 sine of so this 30 degree we got 30 degree omega t value minus 53.13 okay so this 30 minus 53.13 so 
so that is equals to 20 sine of minus 23.13 so that is equals to we will calculate 20 into sine of minus 23.13 so this value is minus 7.85 amperes so this is the current value when the voltage value is at 100 degree and rising so are you understanding what's the point so if the voltage is going like this okay voltage value is 100 degree here 100 and rising so it is at this point so it is 100 at that time what is the current value so current value is somehow current value is minus 7.85 and the current is lagging here so it will be going current will be going like this okay next it is asking what is that voltage drop across the resistance at this point okay so voltage drop across the resistance so voltage drop across the resistance or r so voltage drop across the resistance is equals to vr is equals to i into r and at that point of time what is the value of i the value of i is minus 7.85 and the value of resistance is 6 so that is equals to 7.85 into 6 so that is minus 47.1 volts so this is the voltage drop across the resistance so next it is asking what is the value when the voltage drop across the vl it is asking okay so vl it's a bit tricky to find so what is that so vl is equals to will write vml that means maximum voltage across the inductance sine of omega t minus phi okay why i am writing like this because vm sine omega t is the actual voltage applied and your phi is the phase difference between phase phase difference why because if there is a inductive circuit only then here the voltage will be 90 degree leading but because of resistance is there so it is not exactly 90 degree something else so let us find out that so now what is the vml so vm across maximum voltage across the resistance that as our inductance is equals to how much im into how much xl okay xl is the inductive reactance so im is how much 20 ohm sorry 20 so this is the im so this is this current is flowing through the uh, inductor so 20 into x is given as 8 so that is equal to simply 160 volts so that is the vm now now when the vm is there let us find what value will come here so we know that in inductor so if there is a inductor so in inductor what happens so in inductor voltage leads by 90 degree right so that is what we know now according to the question the current is lagging by how much 53 degree so here 53 degree current is lagging so voltage should be how much 90 degree so how to write that so it will be written as vl is equals to maximum voltage across the uh, in, um, inductance that is 160 degree okay sign of omega t we know how much at 100 volt omega t value is 30 we are not going to change that minus how much phi actually it should be 90 degree across the inductance the voltage so it should be 30 degree sorry this will be plus voltage leading means plus so 30 plus 90 degree and extra phase difference is already there how much minus 53 degree so here it will be minus 53 point how much 53.13 okay so if i calculate this again it is 160 sine of 90 minus 53.13 so that is 30 degree plus 36.7 that is equals to plus 30 160 sin of 66.7 that is equals to sin of answer into how much 160 
66 uh, okay i think i made them 66.7 okay so 160 into sin of 66.7 okay so this is coming as 146.9 volts so this is the answer okay and this is the answer voltage across vl when the applied voltage in the applied voltage is value is how much applied voltage is 100 volts so see applied voltage is 100 volt because the voltage is leading so in the inductor it has already reached a value of 146 and what is the maximum value of the voltage so maximum value of the voltage is 200 but when the voltage at the supply is 100 it has all it is already at 200 uh, it is already at 146.9 volt or that is nearly equals to 147 volts okay so this is how this problem can be solved this is a bit tricky problem only this this part is important to understand here in this case so okay this is from this video and we will be meeting in next video with new problem